Hi and welcome to the MacBook Beginners Quick Start Guide. This is ideal for anyone who's been a Windows computer user and is now just starting out with a MacBook. I'll run through some of the basic settings and how-tos and make some comparisons so you'll be able to do on your Mac what you did on your Windows computer. I've also done a more extensive tips and tricks video and I'll leave a link to that in the description if you'd like to check that out later. So with that said, let's get started. We'll start with a quick screen orientation so you know where everything is. Along the top here we have the menu bar. In the upper left we have the Apple logo which we'll be coming to shortly. Beside which we have the finder menu and if you want to open a new window you go to file, new finder window and it appears. Now this context menu changes depending on the application you have open. For example if I open up pages you'll note that the menu changes to the pages menu. If I want to go back to the default menu, just click in a blank space and it returns to the Finder menu. You'll also notice that the Close, Minimize and Maximize buttons are on the left hand side rather than the right hand side from a PC. So let's minimize that and that. Moving along this menu bar, we have the Spotlight Search. So you can type in what you're searching for here and it will be revealed. We have the Notification Center. We have the date and time, and when you press that, the widgets appear. Along the bottom, we have the dock, and this is similar to the Windows Start menu. These apps here are shortcuts, and if it's too busy for you, you can remove them. All you need to do is click and drag one away. You'll see remove, and it goes. If you try to drag an app away, and it bounces back, have a look underneath it. If you see a white dot, it means that the app is open so you need to close it first to close it you would right click and go to quit you also have some options here which allow you to keep the dock keep the app in the dock permanently and you can also open at login if you want to add an app to the dock the easiest way is to hold down the command key and tap on any of these icons this will bring you to the applications window and all you need to do is highlight one of the apps and drag it onto the dock. You can also get to this window by being in the Finder menu, then going to Go and Applications. Now if you'd like to change the position of your dock, all you need to do is go up to the Apple logo, then System Preferences, and System Preferences is very much like the Control Panel. Once inside here, what we want to do is go to dock and menu bar and you'll notice a few options we have position on the left position on the right or you can leave at the bottom you also have an option to automatically hide and show the dock if you select automatically hide it appears when you hover your mouse at the bottom of the screen you can also do the same with the menu bar at the top of the screen there I'll leave these on for this demonstration. Now we've covered the orientation, let's check out a few things we can do on the Mac. So let's change the desktop background. Use two fingers to right click, then go to change desktop background. We have dynamic desktops and what this means is the desktop will change from light to dark as the day goes by, as you can see. We leave that on dynamic. We have some light and dark desktop pictures and some standard desktop pictures. If you'd like a block color instead, just come over to the left hand side and we have colors here. We'll minimize this and I'll now show you how to do a copy and paste. For this, I'll go into the pages app and I have the phrase, hello world. So what I'll do is highlight, so I'll drag the mouse across and then do a command C on the keyboard. Place a cursor where I'd like that to be pasted, then do a command V. And I can of course select more than just two words, so I'll select four in this case, do a command C, come down, again command V. And if I change my mind and want to backtrack, do a command Z, like so. 
Next we'll do a screenshot and this is a key combo. So we'll need to hold down the command key, the shift key and then tap four. You'll notice the cursor changes and if I press and hold and drag, then release, I get a screenshot. You'll see it in the bottom right here. And after a short while, it will also appear on the desktop. If, here it is. If I would like to have further options, I can do a Command, Shift and 5. So Command, Shift, 5. You'll notice at the bottom, I have some more options. I can capture the entire screen, capture a selected window, a section, which I just did. I can actually record, and I have some further options. So shall we say, capture selected window. This is for window. And as you can see, it's captured the whole window now. Next up, we'll have a look at the search function and we did just briefly look at that. That's the search here. You can activate it from here or you can use the shortcut command and space. In Windows, if you want to find information about a file, you would do a right click and properties. On a Mac, it's similar. You do a right click, but you go to get info. And here you have the information that you're looking for. The Recycle Bin works much the same as in Windows. You can right click on a document and you can go to Move to Bin. The bin sits just here on the dock. You can right click on it and you can go to Empty. And you can also double click, go inside and if you want to recover an item, you can drag it back to the desktop. With your Mac, you have the option to have many desktops open at the same time. You can access this by swiping three fingers up. You'll see desktop one, two, three, if you have those open. You can also press the F3 key on the keypad. Over on the right hand side, you have a plus sign. Press it and another desktop is created. If you want to go between these desktops, just use three fingers on the touchpad and swipe. So that was the introduction to the MacBook and comparison to Windows. There's so much more that can be covered, but these were just the essential tips. Check out my MacBook playlist and tips and tricks video for more. Thanks very much for choosing my video. I hope you found it useful and I wish you a great day ahead.